What's up, everybody? This is Caesar Beavers, and this is Five Things That Rappers Are Doing Wrong. Number one, I noticed that a lot of rappers will spend a lot of money on the feature or the mixing and mastering production, the beat, but then they'll get a friend to do the cover art or they'll do it themselves. You know, the cover art is the first thing that people see before clicking on your link, before clicking on your song, whether it be on Spotify or anything, you know, YouTube, that's the first thing they see. So that's a visual representation of what the quality of the song is gonna be. So if it looks like crap, they're gonna automatically assume, hey, this song's horrible, bro. I'm not clicking. All right, so number two involves not just rappers and singers, but also like event planners, promoters. They'll spend tons of money on the acts, on throwing the event, but then they won't get a, a flyer to promote the event that looks professional. So if it just looks like something that's screw together, people probably aren't gonna attend your event, you know? Number three. So after you got the flyer, you actually made a professional flyer, assuming. Uh, I feel it's important to make a bunch of copies, a few hundred, maybe a thousand, and post it, post them up everywhere in the area and the surrounding areas, 25 to 50 miles within that area, you know? If you don't do that, then how's everybody in the area going to know that there's an event being held at such and such place? You got to get the word out there. You can't just assume they're going to show up. Number four, when choosing a brand identity, you know, a lot of the artists or business owners, they want to incorporate aspects that's important to them that really helps identify who they are, or what they represent. And that's exactly what you should be doing. But you have to look at it and say, is this visually appealable to the eye? You know, can I put this on a t-shirt or, or some kind of merch? And will people buy it, you know? Will this, will this logo or design last? Am I gonna have to keep changing it? Should I went to a better graphic designer? Well, probably so. You know, you might be thinking, and I understand, I done spent all this money on everything. I don't have money for graphics, you know? But that's the first thing they see. You know, that, that's what identifies you, who you are. It's very vital to uh, your brand or your, your brand identity, you know? Uh, so, so yeah, you, sh you should definitely take it very serious and it, it needs to be one of the most important things, your brand identity. All right, number five, and probably the most important and annoying one that I'm gonna mention. Artists, after they get their song made, they got their link, it's distributed, they'll do what is called a, a messenger blast. Randomly sending their link without saying anything in somebody's Facebook Messenger or Instagram Messenger. And that's probably the most annoying thing ever. And I'm just going to view you as spam. You know, I never click that. 90% of the people that uh, get links like that sent to them, they don't click it. You know, you got to build up a personal relationship with, with the potential fan or follower or whatever, you know. And... Uh, also, it's going to be easier for them to become a fan or a follower if you've got good images across all your social media platforms, you know, like just, just shots of, of you here and there, you know, they got to be professional. Uh, all the graphics, they got to be professional, you know, they'll look at you as a professional and you should not just send your link out anywhere. Let them stumble upon the link from you building connections with random people. This is Caesar Beavers and I'm the Graphic Goat.